hey guys we're back with another video today we are going to do a um, french full set of acrylic we're gonna do it all by acrylic so right now i am going in with a sanding band a fine sanding band and i'm just gonna take away the shine from her nails and lightly go around the cuticle area just to clean it up some more going in with um extra long coffin no c curve tips i really like these tips um i wanted to test them out they did have a little bit of issues sticking onto the nail but not too bad i just use a um glue drying spray which you can probably see me spray in the video i do plan on selling these tips um i'm just gonna do a couple more test runs on different um manufacturers to see which one i like the best and then i will create a website and then you guys will be able to purchase them on there so now we're gonna cut to her desired length um you may ask why i use such long tips if she's doing like a medium length it's because i just like the way the tips are pre-shaped it just gives it a nice shape already and it saves me a lot of time shaping the nails but i still do go um, in and like pre-shape it just a little bit
just slightly pre-shaped it so now i'm going to go back in with the same sanding band and just kind of um flush the tip to the natural nail bed just so like the acrylic lays better I'm not sure why I always forget to record the um, priming process, but I use the Young Nails um, Protein Bond to prime. Um, right now, that's my favorite primer. And then right now, I'm just going in with a acrylic I get from a local nail supply. It's called a Cover Pink. This is my absolute favorite nude because it just goes so well with everybody's skin tone. So I'm going to put acrylic on about 75% of the nail and then use a French cutter. Um, I can do French both ways without using the French cutter, but today I just decided to use it. I'm not sure why, but um, the easiest way to use a French cutter is for, well, for me at least, is I put acrylic on two of the nails because I want it like slightly dry, but not super dry to where you can't cut it at all. But um, when it's like slightly dry, the cut is a lot more sharp. So this is when I go in with the French cutter. Um, I'm just gonna measure what fits or what seems to look good, like if I want it more curvy. And then you see how it's semi-dry and it just gives it a nice clean cut. But if it was wet, it would just be like very hard to cut it. It'll be a little bit more messier. Um, but I will go back in with a file and define the cut because I like it super sharp.
here I'm just taking my hand file and I am perfecting that curve. Um, I like it super sharp and very nice because this is what makes the French. If it doesn't look nice, then your French is gonna look kind of sloppy. So I go in with a hand file and then I also go in with a e file just to make sure I got everything. Here's when I go in with the e-file, just making it nice and crisp um, along that free edge. And then it just makes it so much better when you lay the white, it'll, be, it'll fall in place perfectly. Young Nails Core Speed White or Speed Core White, I'm not sure what it was called, but I really like this white. Um, it doesn't dry super fast, get, like it gives me enough time to work with. And then I'm basically just filling in that bottom tip and I make sure I get the side walls really well because that is one part of the nail that a lot of people miss. Um, so just make sure you get the side walls. Don't worry about it being like messy or anything because once when you go in and drill it, it comes right off and it will expose the smile line. Thank you. 
Also, when I say don't worry about it being too messy, I don't mean just put the white all over the nail because that makes it harder for you in the end um, because then you'll have to do a lot more drilling. You want it as neat as possible, but if it gets over the line a little bit, like don't worry about it because it comes right off. Um, the more neat you do it, the less work for you. And honestly, it will save you from hand cramps and you know people with carpal tunnel and all that extra stuff.
all right so let's shape these bad boys um she wanted a kind of tapered squares a little bit like tapered coffin i guess you would say but um she just wanted it real nice and sharp and that's what we gave her this is probably like one of my favorite shapes tapered square and like semi coffin I was looking at some of my work before and like I never like knew how to do the free edge of the nail super straight super sharp um, I've always seen people do it and I just never knew how to but one way I learned how to do it was like file downward but like tilt the file downward in a sense kind of like how I'm doing it you want it like super flat against the nail and then just go at it downward that's that's what worked for me so now i am going in with my medium carbide bit i like to use a medium carbide bit because i feel like it just makes the nail super flush and smooth for me um this is not a safety bit and i do link it down below so if you do decide to like buy this bit just be super careful especially around the cuticle area because it can cut very easily um i don't use a brand new sharp bit when i do cuticle area i like dole it out over time and it helps with like like accidents. One way that I like dole out my drill bits when I first buy them is I use it to remove gel polish or like debulk the nail. Um, you never want to run a bit like on a nail file or like a buffer or anything like that because then it'll just like kind of ruin it um but yeah this bit is pretty old um and it's not super sharp so i love it it works super well for me because a lot of people are like why do you use a medium bit instead of a fine bit i just feel like a fine bit just like it glides too smoothly and i feel like it doesn't get the nail how i like it but to each its own everybody's preference is different you might like the way the fine bit um glides across the nail but i prefer a medium
part is just so satisfying to me because it just gets rid of all that extra white around the tip and it just makes the front sharp and just nice and clean and I love that. So now we're just gonna take a buffer and then we're just gonna buff out the nail really smooth, make sure everything is all nice and smooth, the edges, everything. And then we're just gonna go in with Koopa Top Coat. That's my all time favorite top coat. I just love it. Super shiny all the time. And then that completes the look, guys. I hope my videos do help um, people. Um, some of you guys says it does and I'm so glad of that. I really appreciate each and every one of you You guys have been showing me a tremendous amount of love um, My subscribers all of you guys. I love you guys so much Please comment down below what type of content you would like to see um, any specific tutorial I would try to get those done for you um, but anyways, please leave a like, a comment, share the video, subscribe to my channel, show some love, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!